Okay, so we have discussed the different point of views of the Slutsky equation. So first of all, we discussed the graphical representation, and then we uh, derived the, the four possible Slutsky equations in the last lecture. And now we are uh, observing an, a, another different view of the Slutsky equation. That means the Slutsky equation can be also uh, uh, can can be also derived in the form of the elasticities. So four possible Slutsky equation in the derivation form in the decomposition of the total effect is equal to the substitution effect minus income effect now we want to analyze the slutsky equation in the form of the elasticity let's see so that how the slutsky equation will be converted into the elasticity so very simple and basic concept is there the total effect is equal to the substitution effect minus income effect number one object and then if we are dividing the whole equation with a change in px so that's mean we are interested to find out the Slutsky equation the own price impact because there is a commodity X and we want to change uh, in commodity X with respect to the change in price of X so at this stage we have to think about that how this equation can be converted into the elasticity so first of all we have to convert into the partial derivative the change in X change in px change in x and change in px this is substitution effect minus and then we can understand that this is a change in x income effect the change in income and now this has been the x by using this approach now we have to multiply by the whole equation with the px over multiplying the we are doing into with the equation that's mean the px over x okay so what will be the change in x change in px and then the px over x so this is the own price elasticity equation but we have to multiply the px over x on the right side as well so change in x change in px and then px over x okay but here we have to think in the differently we have to as well introduce the term of the m because we want to make the income elasticity so first of all we are also multiplying by this equation with the px x that that is a common factor that we introduce but the, at the latter stage we are also multiplying n factor m over m this is a balance section if we will cancel out the m over n so it will be the one and already there is x okay so again we will rearrange this is basically direct own price elasticity okay and this is basically the own price elasticity same one but this is only if we will use x over m and m over x this these two terms so it will become basic so we'll make this income elasticity income elasticity will be represented by new and this is the income elasticity so income elasticity with respect to commodity x own price elasticity own price elasticity income elasticity what is the remaining one these term and these term has been used so px x and m so px x may i like down to px x over m this these are the remaining terms so what is this this is a pxx and then this is a share of x ye total expenditure hai aap commodity x use kar rahe hain aur price of x ki hai so multiply karte hain aur usko income se aap le lete hain basically it is your share of x so we will write as here share of x so slutsky equation has been converted into the elasticity form own price elasticity cross price elasticity and income elasticity and share of x but there are two same elasticities on price so these are not basically same we have to distinguish in this form this is a substitution effect this is the total effect so this is called the compensated elasticity or this is uncompensated because this is derived from the hickson demand curve and this is derived from the marshall demand curve so this is a difference between 
uh, this on price elasticity and this on price elasticity so this is the first equation that we have been converted into the elasticity form now we are going to convert the second equation in the elasticity form so again we will convert into the partial derivation but be careful this is a cross price so again in this form and in this form and this have been converted into the uh, let's suppose if we have working here so this is the m and p y respect to the y we will have now we have to convert into the elasticity form so whole equation here we have multiplied by the px over x so now here we will multiply by the p y over uh, y because we want to convert into the elasticity so if we will multiply by this equation p y over x so we will have the cross price elasticity so what is happening x t p y and p y over x so cross price elasticity and so cross price elasticity you can easily understand this thing this is a cross price elasticity now we are here using the x m and we are just multiplying py over y py over x here and y is there and new term is m over m this is a balance section so what do we want this is basically the cross price elasticity in a commodity x with respect to the y so this is e x y ki hum change in x dekhna chahte hain with respect to change in price of commodity price commodity of the price of x and this is also the cross price elasticity but again this is uncompensated this is a compensated this is the income elasticity and this is the income elasticity but this is income elasticity of commodity x ab income elasticity kaise banegi change in x with respect to change in income and m over x so these four terms have been used and make the income elasticity so what is remaining the remaining is py y over m so if this is a py y over m this is a share of commodity y so this is the first equation this is the second equation of slutsky in the terms of elasticities now we have to move on the third one in the third one we have to convert into the partial derivative so we will make it now this m will be used so y over m and this is basically the py so we will get the y because humne aapko bata chuke hain ke इस टर्म में जिसकी रिस्पेक्ट होती है जैसे अगर यहाँ पर पी एक्स था तो एक्स मिल गया यहाँ पर पी वाई था तो वाई मिल गया और यहाँ पर हमें पी वाई था तो वाई मिल गया नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन द इलास्टिटी तो हमें किस टर्म से इसको मल्टीप्लाई करना पड़ेगा जैसे यहाँ पर पी एक्स ओवर एक्स से किया यहाँ पी वाई ओवर वाई एक्स से किया और यहाँ पर हमें दोबारा इलास्टिटी बनानी तो यहाँ पर हम करेंगे पी वाई ओवर वाई से बिकॉज कि हमें इस चीज़ का ख्याल रखना है कि हमें इलास्टिटी में कन्वर्ट करना है तो हमें ऐसा मल्टीप्लायर चूज करना है कि जो इसको हमें इलास्टिसिटी में कन्वर्ट कर दे चाहे वो ओन प्राइस हो चाहे वो क्रॉस प्राइस हो तो बिकॉज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ओन प्राइस तो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय द पी वाई ओवर वाई और आप ये देखिए कि अगर मैं इस वाई को पी वाई ओवर वाई से मल्टीप्लाई कर दूं और इस वाई को मैं पी वाई ओवर वाई से मल्टीप्लाई कर दूँ और हेयर वी आर बेसिकली पी वाई ओवर वाई को मल्टीप्लाई कर दूं और आई वॉन्ट वन मोर ट्राम एम ओवर एम टू मेक इट द इनकम लास्टिटी सो अगेन वी थिंक दैट दिस इज ओन प्राइस लास्टिटी बट द कमोडिटी वाई तो ई वाई वाई दिस इज ई एक्स एक्स ओन प्राइस दिस इज ई वाई वाई सिमिलरली हेयर वी हैव ई वाई वाई very simple this is a uncompensated this is a compensated same thing here this is a uncompensated and this is a compensated second thing is the income elasticity and this is the income elasticity of y now what is this t term 
and these term have been used here and PYY and income that's mean there's a share of Y so this is the third equation third Flutsky equation which is basically in the form of the elasticity now we move on the fourth one and by using the same approach converting into the equation into the partial derivative and this is again the cross price impact because we are interested to change in y with respect to the change in price of x so this m will be converted here and then we will understand that the change in y due to the change in income and delta m over delta px will give the x and now we again going to multiply with the term that we want to convert into velocity so we will multiply with the px over y this term will multiply here and if we will multiply here so p px over y px over y and we are multiplying with the px over y x is already there and new term is m over m also introduced there so now we have to convert in the elasticity this is the basically the cross price elasticity commodity y with respect to price of x so e y x e y x minus this is the basically the income elasticity of the commodity because we are understanding here the commodity y so this is we will take the income velocity of y but because y m m and y so what is the remaining px x and m px x and m is basically the share of x so if we conclude our lecture so very easy the four possible Slutsky equation can convert into the four possible elasticity equation the number one is this number two is this number three is this and number four is this